All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone. And the sincere Shalom to all the Aki I'm out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. We're going to this topic, you know, of the Sacramento Kings uh, basketball team in the NBA uh, paying for, as you see here, it says Kings are paying for tattoos for fans featuring the new logo. So basically, they just got a new logo and now they're, you know, paying for the fans to get uh, this logo. You can see people are, you know, somebody already has it right here. It says, hopefully, the Sacramento Kings doesn't, I mean, don't change their logo anytime soon. After unveiling a new set of logos, the team said that it will pay for a limited number of people to get tattoos of the new look. The offer is good only on Wednesday at five area tattoo parlors. Scott Moak, the King Public Address announcer, posted video of fans lining up to get their King tattoos. If you look in, in this video, okay, you see a lot of people... You know, signed, locked up for this, for this tattoo. You know, and and you see Jake, you know, bugged out their mind. You know, there's a lot of Jake, you know, locked up to get these tattoos. You know, and honestly, when you're going through the scriptures, man, America is going to get destroyed, man. So these people sitting up there saying that hopefully Sacramento Kings don't change their logo anytime soon. Well, this place is going to get destroyed, man. You know, so these people, you know, they're, they're idiots, man. Two thirds of, of Jake is gone, man. Especially this guy right here, man. You could just, you got fucking female boots on where it looks like, you know, he's just gone, man. Uh, but I wanted to get some scriptures, you know, for this lesson, you know, for this video. This is Leviticus 19 and 28. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord, you know, this is, you know, a, a law, man, you know, that we're supposed to keep, you know, we're not supposed to, to, to print or have any tattoos on us, man, you know, if you have tattoos, you know, before you came into the knowledge of this, man, you know, or you came into the truth, you know, you just don't get no more tattoos, you know, as simple as that, but you got simple people out here that, you know, they think that that's okay, right? It's, this is 1 Corinthians 10 to 31. It says, Whether therefore you eat or drink or whatsoever you do, right? What, whatever you do, do all to the glory of the Most High, you know? And, and getting a tattoo, a free tattoo, that's not glorifying, you know, the Lord. These, you got these people that they just want free stuff, you know? You got people that love, you know, uh, just getting tattoos, you know? When it's like, where, where is that glorifying? Is that glorifying the Most High, Yahweh, or His Son, Yahweh Shah? You know, it's not. This is um, First Corinthians six and nineteen. What know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you? Right. Then this this is going for you know the people, you know that that are in the truth, you know that that come into this knowledge. It says what you have of of God the most high and ye are not your own you know so once you come into this truth man we're supposed to be doing everything you know whether it's you know eating the clean foods you know or whatever you know we supposed to be doing this all to the glory of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah you know because because the Lord you know he 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 made us a holy people you know we're supposed to be set apart you know from this world it says, for ye are bought with a price, you know, therefore glorify Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah in your body and in your spirit, which are uh, God's, the Most High, okay? So, hey, you, you, if you was to go out here and get a tattoo after you know that the, the, the tattoos are wicked and it's going off, you know, that's against the law, you know, you, you're being wicked, you know? We supposed to be glorifying Yahweh and, and, and His Son Yahweh Shah, you know. 
the 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 Yahweh Shah came, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, and he told those people to repent. You know, basically, you know, you you know that tattoos was going off, so don't do, get no tattoos. You know, repent and sin no more. You know, and that's what we supposed to do. Okay, this is Ro Romans twelve and one. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Shah, because we all, you know, we all are worthy of death, and and pretty soon, them that them them the death toll is going to be skyrocket, man. It's going to be be in the millions, man. You know, so it's through the mercies, man, of Yahweh Shah that we're not dead right now, man. You know that we're not like this idiot right here, man, who's you know just happy to get a fucking uh, tattoo, man. You know, it says that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, right? And and pre presenting your body as a living sacrifice, man, that that goes into, you know, not getting them tattoos anymore, man. You know, it says holy, acceptable unto Yahweh Basim Yahweh which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So if the Lord, you know, he gave us these bodies to take care of, you know, he, he the, the last thing you should want to do, man, is mark them up, you know, put graffiti on, on your temple, man, you know, that's, that's the last thing you should be doing, man, you know. We gotta we we're not supposed to be conformed to the ways of this world just because something is free, you know, or or you know, it you think it's a cool thing, you know. That don't mean you're supposed to just go do it, man. You know? And that's not the will of your house by Simi outside, man. But at the end of the day, his will will be done, you know. Two thirds of his people are gonna be destroyed. This 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 Sacramento Kings is no longer it's gonna be a, 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 a memory, man, you know. All this thing, all this stuff in this society is going to be a bad memory, man. You know, it's going to be a nightmare. And that's basically what it is, man. You know, our people just want to, you know, follow after wickedness, you know. But with that, man, that's pretty much the, the summarizes everything, man. I hope that, you know, you brothers was edified, you know, and, and you know, like, like, you know, just just stay in the spirit, man. You know, because we are we almost up out of here, man. This place, you know, it's built, it, this cup is running over, man, you know. But with that, man, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, and the sincere Salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work of truth and the sincerity. Salawam.